before. Marta talked about the match a couple years ago, but both different players back then. Yeah, really, uh, so much has really changed for golf in the two years since they played that tournament. And golf now as a Grand Slam champion. She also approaches matches differently. She has a couple of different ways to play. Two years ago, she was still trying to figure out how she wanted to play her tennis. Did she want to be aggressive? Did she want to be defensive? But she was still able to control this match over Kostjuk. Kostjuk as well, one of the most improved players in the last nine months or so. Since May, she's lost one time to a player outside the top 25, so is really buttoning up her game, beating the players she's supposed to beat, and giving herself opportunities against the players ranked higher. Goff able to get through on this day in three close sets. Kostjuk talked about it. She's aware, though, both of them are different players now. Yeah, and she knows the opportunity she has with Coco Golf being a top five player now, also in her first quarterfinal here in Melbourne. Uh, that's about where the comparisons end because Coco is now a major champion heading into this match and this tournament and really has a ton of confidence the entire way that she's been going on in Melbourne. Yeah, and the question is, does Kostchik, she's not used to playing this deep into a major. It's a different ball game mentally, emotionally, physically. I'm always curious to see when that hits a player. It never hit Raducanu right. that year at the U.S. Open, but Martina, it is tough your first time kind of navigating the waters of a second week of a major. Yeah, you in this suspended animation all the time with the nerves. You play your match, then you relax maybe for an hour, and then already you're thinking about the next match. And most of these players haven't been in this kind of a situation for such a long time. So they get tired physically, but I think more than that, they get tired emotionally. So we'll see if, if Marta can, can hold it together against Coco. As she said, she's got nothing to lose. She'll be playing aggressively. So we'll see. We'll see if she can manage that. Uh, Martina, that is the mental aspect of it. Obviously, Coco's a heavy favorite, but in terms of the game plan, what can she do to win this match against Coco Goff? Uh, what she can do is go after the forehand of Coco, of course. As Coco needs to be more aggressive with the forehand. Those floaters, you know, through the middle of the court that she gets away with, with many players, she won't be able to get away with Kostyuk. She's going to be looking for that. She's got a very good game plan, I'm sure. Her new coach, Sandra Zanievska, is, is a real great uh, tennis mind. And I think she'll have a very much more, she have clarity of what she needs to do. So um, I, it's just a matter of whether she can execute. She'll have a good game plan, but I think she'll be going after those shorter balls of Coco. So Coco needs to be careful with that. Yeah, both these two players really have benefited from coaches coming into their camps last year. We talked so much about Bad Gilbert and what he has done for Coco's game. Came on board after the Wimbledon loss. But also Kostchuk has been working with Sandra, as Martina said, who's been a wonderful coach for many years, spent a lot of years with Petra Martic. She's made an immediate difference with Marta in yeah. the belief and, and also the professionalism approaching matches. So it's always interesting to see when you have two coaches who have such a big influence what are their strategies going in? Because these players are going to be coming in with a very clear game plan. Well, obviously you have to execute it, but it's always fun to see what the other coach thinks they need to do to win and break down. And uh, uh. <laughs> Listen, Marta's had to, to work a couple three setters for her. Coco Goff has not dropped a set yet in this tournament and now just three wins away from joining my friends Martina and Lindsay as Australian Open Women's Singles Champions.